So what I feel here, we do have the emperor, which is a, a strong authoritative figure in your life, and it can be male or female. And this is somebody that I feel, you know, they have given you a lot of guidance. They have, uh, they're, they're actually a really good person. They don't have harm. Um, they don't mean harm. They are not trying to hold you back. But there is a sense of rigidity of, about this person. The emperor can be quite cold, can be quite rigid. And this is a person that has given you a lot of advice, a lot of, um, like, a lot of training. And I feel like they're transferring the tools that you need. They're transferring the skills, the expertise, and the tools. And they feel like they um, contributed a lot to your growth and to your progress. So they always look at you with the sense of maternal and paternal pride. But I feel like there comes a point where you kind of outgrow them. I have here the Three of Wands, waving goodbye to the past wanting to explore other options that are out there, taking what you have learned and applying it to the real world. And I feel like many of you, this is a major, major, um, embarking on a major new phase of your life, waiting for your ships to come in, but more so. This is a sense of timing. There's that clock right there, and it's telling you, um, I've already, you know, learned everything that I need to learn here. If I were to stay here, life is going to stagnate for me, or professionally, I'm going to stagnate. And... I need to move on. So there's this element here about timing that um, I, I feel like, you know, the course of the relationship in this situation, it seems like you have learned a lot from this person and it is time for you to kind of spread your wings and, and kind of soar. But their rigidity might be, in fact, they, they do have a lot of love for you and a lot of support, but their rigidity might, in fact, be holding you back, okay? For some of you, this is a love relationship partner. This is somebody who you love tremendously. Um, they're very reliable. They're very supportive. And I feel like we have here the Ten of Cups, wanting to build a future together and feeling almost like you've met the kindred spirit that you're, you, you've been dreaming of. Um, so you're quite happy with them. But the energy of the Emperor is that, you know, they're, they're very stubborn. They're very fixed in their ways. They're um, a little bit hesitant about moving forward and, and making changes. And they're very, very risk adverse. So that means they don't venture into the unknown lightly. And I also see somebody who's very like uh, bogged down with a lot of family issues. Okay. It's not that the it's not that they uh, they have hang-ups when it comes to, you know, family. But I feel like they could be a little bit more on the traditional end. They might have a lot of family around them, and their decisions are always influenced by family members. So there's that element coming through as well. And I feel like, you know, in a way, you respect them. You respect somebody who's family-oriented. You respect somebody who can hold his or her own. And you respect someone who's strong, and, you know, they, they're not a follower. Or their leader, you respect that about this person. Um, but there are elements here about kind of outgrowing a certain relationship. And even though there is a lot of love and, and you know, a lot of support, I just feel like you want more. You want something more out there and you feel like there has to be something more. So Somebody, I feel, can inadvertently hold you back and they don't do it out of spite or they don't do it to be manipulative, but they do it because they feel like they know what's best for you or they might not have truly fathomed all the changes that you have gone through very recently and that, you know, um, what used to be your interests are no longer interesting to you, that you have changed and you have moved on, or you have, you know, like the emotions are still there, you still care about this person, but you might have outgrown the relationship, okay? Um, I definitely feel there is somebody here that there's like a love offer, and I feel like it's another person, and there's somebody that feels really, really strongly about you. I have here the Knight of Cups. This is a, a gesture of love, somebody wanting to reach out, and um, in a way, they're kind of testing the waters. This is somebody who's very shy, okay? So the Knight of Cups is uh, traditionally, um, it's like they take one step forward towards you, 
and they need some type of a confirmation or they need you to egg them on before they take the next step. So every step that they take towards you, they need validation. Okay, they need validation. They they can't do things of their own volition. They they need to have like that confirmation, like the, every step that they take. And over time, that can be, you know, especially if you're dealing with an, with an adult, who has time for that, right? And so it can feel a little bit frustrating. And in an extreme sense, it can feel a little bit like, I'm not your mother. I'm, you know, uh, we're, we're like the same age. I'm not your mother. And I feel like this is somebody who's your same age. It's just emotionally, they're a little bit shy and they, they, they need a lot of validation before they can move forward with you. And I also feel like, I also feel like they see you as someone who's quite successful. So they're kind of intimidated, which is understandable because, um, I feel like many of you are really trying to make some positive changes in your life and you're very, very career focused. Okay. So I feel like this is a big, big, big career year for a lot of Virgos, uh, where you are rubbing elbows with a lot of people, where there's opportunities for you to make like really, really, um, major strides in your career. So like, I, I do feel professionally, you are in a higher status for some of you. And then I also feel like you're networking a lot. You're not like one to, you know, enjoy it, but I feel like you do it. Um, and it, it might just come as a result of your job where you have to do it. And so you're rubbing elbows with a lot of really powerful players really powerful players. And so the other person feels like, yes, they want to extend this offer, but they don't feel like they're on your same level. And that might be why they're so skittish and they need validation. And, and that might be why um, they're not moving towards you. I also feel like if this is a partner, it's somebody that has had a lot of struggles um, getting their career off the ground. Okay. So they might not have the proper education. They might have had a lot of setbacks. Once again, they might have had a lot of family issues, interference, and they might even lack that family support system. And so it disallow them to, you know, be able to, for example, and you know, I don't, I feel like I don't have to say this with you guys because you guys understand, but just in case you're cross watching, um, I feel like many of you, you have, you, you guys work really hard. I'm not going to lie. You guys work really hard and let's not take that away from you guys. You guys give 100% to everything that you do. Um, but I feel like you have support of family when it comes to educational attainment. Okay. Somebody might have helped you pay the bills. Somebody might have really helped you, um, like, co-sign for like a big student loan for example to help you through school to help you through grad school somebody might have provided you you know like a living stipend but then again you also worked hard you also not only did school you worked outside of school or yeah you worked and went to class so that you can support yourself okay so it, it it's it's like a symbiotic relationship i feel like you know somebody helped you this person on the other hand i feel like they didn't get that support they don't have the support and the financial backing of their families. And I feel like everything that they touch, there's a lot of trepidation and fear with this person, fear of failure, fear of not having a safety net. And so where you are right now, where you're trying to embark on a new life, you're, you're like um, fearless because you've always had that support and it boosted your self-esteem. And I feel like you look at new opportunities not so much with fear and trepidation, but you look at new opportunities with, with uh, wonder and with the sense of like, it's going to be great. It's going to work out, you know, and whereas this person change is really difficult for them. They're very risk adverse. And when you grow up without, you know, having that support system, I feel like it can make you into a very fearful, closed off person because you don't have that confidence and you don't have that backing and you just don't have that sense of, um, if I mess up, there's no safety net 
right? It can be a really scary place. And I feel like that's where this person might be coming from. So if you're wondering why they won't take a risk, if you're wondering why they take forever to do something, if you're wondering why they're so kind of like aimless and directionless when it comes to their life path and their career goals and the things that they want to do for themselves, it's because of that space of fear, fear of failure. They do want all of these things. And they can sit there and draw you a blueprint as to what they want to achieve. But I feel like there's still that sense of inertia, you know. Um, it takes a long time and it takes a lot of nudging and it takes just, um, I, I feel like it has to be, you know, a lot of support and the right condition and a lot of timing in order to get this person to move. And I feel like that that's where they're coming from, okay? So if you're dealing with a partner like that, um, be a little bit more sympathetic when you're dealing with them. And I feel like, you know, nudging them, supporting them is going to go a lot further. I feel like there's a gift coming for you guys. Um, like a, a major, I, I see something wrapped up in boxes, okay? And I'm getting it with both of these energies. I have here the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups, okay? So this is like a tangible gift, something that is coming in. I feel like it's wrapped up. It's something that, um, it, it looks very artistic or very beautiful, but I feel like it fits in the palm of your hand. So there's somebody giving you a gift of appreciation for some type of achievement or something that you've done. And I feel like it comes in a very unexpected way. I don't see like an award ceremony or anything like that. I believe I saw that with Taurus, but I'm not seeing that here, but I feel like a gift of appreciation that is something very tangible. It's small. It fits in your hands, but I feel like it's going to be very unexpected. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and especially if it's coming from somebody who is a little bit kind of shy and skittish, I feel like that's their way of showing you that they have feelings for you. Okay. Um, so here's another thing. Um, I feel like some of you might be in a very stable relationship, but there's somebody outside the relationship that can be posing as a source of temptation. Um, I don't feel like, you know, anybody is really stepping outside of the relationship, but there is another person. So I'm seeing three people. I'm seeing you. And then I'm seeing two other characters right here. And their energies are very different. One person's very driven. The other person's shy, skittish, you know, um, kind of their, their, their life trajectory and their life, their professional, uh, achievements kind of meander. And so on paper, this person who's very driven, sounds great like on paper they look great they've achieved a lot they have high ranking high status and they really respect you they they have a great deal of admiration and respect for your intelligence and your work ethics whereas the other person you just feel really comfortable with this person there's no pretenses there's no need to you know put on airs uh, the conversation flows really really smoothly but this person is a little bit more of a pleaser and they, they are really afraid of uh, rejection. And they are also, it's like a somebody who might be a little bit more of a social chameleon. They morph into the personality that they think you want or they morph into the, the, the crowd, okay? Whereas this, whereas this person takes charge. So I feel like some of you might be trying to decide between the, the two people. Yes, there is a very strong soul connection here, but I also feel like there's a lot of admiration. There's a lot of growth potential with this other person here. Um, so that's what I'm feeling here. Um, some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and then others. I feel a uh, strong fire energy, Sag, um, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. And either way, I, I keep getting this energy of, um, I keep getting the energy of, um, if you're, if you're dating, if you're single, there's this person here. It's coming in strong. If you're dating, you're dating somebody who's very firm. Okay. You're dating somebody who's very firm. And I also feel like you're, you're trying to build a family, like trying to, you know, take the relationship to the next level, trying to build a family. Um, your career seems to me to be very, very established. So this reading is mainly about, you know, the emotional, 
it, the, that emotional need wanting one thing and then the other person's all like but i want you to have these things why do you want that when you can have these and so it's that energy about not wanting to have to explain yourself feeling like the other person if they love me they should accept the fact that you know i don't want this i want that and then feeling like i don't need to explain this this is just what i want if you if you care about me you should respect what i want you shouldn't you know try to impose what you think i want on me and you definitely should not make decisions for me so i i feel like there's a little bit of a blurring in boundaries um, between you and another person that you are in a interpersonal relationship with where they believe they know what's best for you they might speak on your behalf or they might you know make decisions for you and i feel like it's something that has happened many 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 times and so it becomes second nature between you and that person and this is the week where you start to see it and you start to it, it, it might start to annoy you and it might start to make you feel like wait a minute you know they, they never asked me why are they making decisions for me 